two um, is a new distro. I had to really think hard about this between number two and number one. Um, number uh, Arch Labs has been out for a while now. I've been sort of using it as my daily driver for just over two weeks. And it reminds me very much of MX-16 uh, towards the end of December. You know, MX-16 uh, just sort of popped up on the scene. I wasn't expecting it to, to sort of come out, uh, you know, late December, a few days before Christmas. And I thought, yeah, this this is good. It's that good. Uh, you know, I'm going to put it at number one because I, I, I enjoyed it so much. I, I, I used it for two weeks and immediately I knew that this could be, you know, literally my daily driver. Um, so, you know, this is, I get this sort of, um, I, you know, it's a bit like returning back to the, the what is it, back to the future. Um, you know, literally, uh, end of 2016, just before Christmas, MX-16 was, you know, my, my favourite distro of uh, the time. Um, and now, this is my favourite distro. What can be said about Arch Labs? <laughs> it's just amazing. It, it literally is just amazing. Um, it's got the simplest interface known to man, yeah, open box. It literally is so simple, you know, um, anybody could use it. There's no complexity whatsoever. You know, you right click on the desktop, you, you get a menu, uh, you know, this is my proper desktop here. Um, you get a, a menu, you can, you know, search via category here um, and, you, you know, you, you, it's got everything what you're going to need. Um, it looks great. It's got, you know, a, a great array of software already there. It's got loads of customization. Uh, you know, it, Openbox doesn't look like you could actually customize it that much, but there's so much customization, it will blow your mind away what you can literally do with this desktop environment. It's always been, Openbox has always been this very light, very minimal uh, desktop Windows management, but it. I don't know how, how, how it um, does it, but it just looks so modern, yeah. Um, it doesn't need to have transparencies. It doesn't need to have, you know, flashy uh, compies uh, additional menus. It just does absolutely, you know, what it says. Um, you know, we have got transparencies, as you can see. But it reminds me very much of MX-16. Uh, although it's based on Arch, and we have the open box uh, windows management. It just reminds me that, you know, uh, a hell of a lot of the work has been taken away from the user, yeah, to get them to a point where the distro is looking great out of the box and it just looks lovely, uh, you know, and it, it, it feels a fresh new sort of approach. Um, you know, I know it's based sort of, you know, Bunsen Labs and, you know, uh, all those sort of oldish distros, what we don't hear much of now. Um, it's like a, um, a, re a remake of those. And boy, have they gone to town with it. Now, as well as it being a great distro and a nice looking one and a very light one, it's also got a great bunch of developers, yeah. The developers are there to help you, yeah. And this is what I like. The developers, yeah, take their time to say, this is, what is it, you know, our distro, this is what you may be able to do with it with a little bit of time. And they show you how to customise it, how to do different stuff, how to get VirtuaBox on there. So if you're a newbie, you know, if you if you are relatively new and you never sort of thought of, well, what, how do I go about doing stuff? I mean, Eric has created got what, over 50 videos now on this actual operating system um, and each one of them is brilliant you know it shows you uh, not in a, uh, um, <coughs> a we were actually talking about the snobbery in Linux it doesn't do it as a you know uh, I'm a better than you person I'm a developer I know everything yeah he does it yeah on he's it, it, one of the guys he's one of the people yeah who is just like me and you, yeah, and he just does it in, uh, you know, basics, the, the, the lowest common denominator. Um, and that's why I love this distro. I think it's absolutely brilliant.